Hey baby dolls, it's me Monique and welcome to my boutique girl. Yes, today I kind of have you in a different little angle. So don't mind all of what we got going on here. Yes, we've got to go ahead and get some better storage. But for right now, we're going with the Sterilite, okay? This stuff right here is what you are here for, honey. Yes, these are the goodies from all around Georgia, honey. Some goodies in here. But before I get started, I want to say hello to all of my new baby dolls that are just now joining me. And to those of you that have been with me for a while, y'all know I love you so much, but God loves you more. Yes, I've got my little drink with my cute little cup. I showed this to you earlier this summer. I am sipping on a little bit of Coke Zero. Pink is up. So refreshing. Actually, that's a Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. All right. Let's get into this. Dollar Tree Girl. I found the Honey Bunches of Oats Breakfast Biscuits. Honey Roasted. And this is what they look like. Shall we open them up and see what it looks like inside? Yes, we shall. Well, they're individually wrapped. It looks like you get five of them. And then there's four biscuits in here. And this, this is going to be good for on the go. Yes, this is. So anyway, um, like 230 calories for four of these is kind of a lot of calories. Not very filling, but on those occasions when you just don't have any time, go ahead and put this in your purse and keep it moving. Do some extra steps and you should be okay. I should be one to talk, girl. I need to get my butt back in the gym. And I will. Okay, girl. But before I do that, girl, let me tell you these. These. These are good. These are the the Betty Crocker Butterscotch Oatmeal Bars. Now, the thing is, is each one of these bars is 150 calories. This is doable, right? They're pretty filling. But I want you, whenever you have the chance, to read the ingredients. And I'm telling you... These right here kind of remind me of something my grandmother used to make back in the day when she used a little bit of genuine rum in her cookies. There is rum in these cookies, and I can't believe it. I cannot believe that there's rum in these cookies, but it clearly states here. Molasses, semi-sweet chocolate chips, butter, milk, fat, soy bacon soda all of the kind of ingredients i don't know where i saw rum palm oil but there is some rum in these cookies i know i saw it but i don't have my glasses on right now but i can tell you sure as the sky is blue man that there is some jamaican rum in these they're very very good i love these so i got several packs of these I love them. Get you a pack in your life and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. They have a beautiful kind of like holiday feel quality to these delicious cookies. So yeah, I got a whole bunch of those. See, I always try to get like the little name brand stuff at the Dollar Tree. I know you do too, girl. Now this is Hamburger Helper, the ultimate creamy stroganoff. Yes, I got two of these little bad boys. And this expires in uh, January 2016. And the others expire sometime soon, but who knows? You know, we'll be eating them up ahead of time anyway, so who cares about that? Right? Yes. All right. Also, New London Melba Rounds. My mother used to eat these when I was growing up because my mother, she's been like on Weight Watchers my whole life and her whole life, right? So she was doing Weight Watchers back in the 80s. She would eat these, and I would sneak in the cupboard and get them too. And then she would be like, you know, where did all the, the Melba rounds go? I would say, I have no idea. I don't know. Girl, I was eating up her Melba rounds. These are amazing. This is in the spicy and pepper flavor with some hummus. Oh. Good. Good stuff. Also, what's good... And I will be, oh, I will go ahead and admit to you that I give little Coney some of his little treats. He eats these as little treats. Yes, he does. These are the Holy Granoli Clusters by Funnelies. And this is the Wild Apple Apper. This is the Wild Apple Bearers. Yes, it is. 
and there's five pouches in here and he loves these as treats now i don't give him a whole lot i know i know but he does eat a couple every now and then and they're good for humans as well they're delicious they're delicious now i've gotten a whole bunch of different food things uh some i think i showed you a lot of it um, but a lot of stuff is downstairs, like the frozen vegetables, I always get those, the paper goods, the aluminum foils, the plastic baggies. Y'all don't want to see all that all the time, right? Okay, if you do, leave a comment down below and I'll bring them on up to the boutique. But anyway, Barilla. Barilla is a very good brand. This is in the bacon and cheese flavor. And this is the Italian's brand of the pasta sauce. So it's flavored pasta sauce and it just sounded really really good so i went ahead and picked up two of the burrita yes i did it should be delicious all right also now i got some stuff at some other stores but i'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in to this haul as well ladies um there's a little dollar store here it's not the dollar tree um, but just a little random dollar store and I don't know why I'm really showing you, but I guess I'm just so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and show you anyway. Um, this is the stain release laundry packs. You get 22 of these packs, right? For a dollar. And I just throw them in my laundry. So beautiful. They smell so good. And they just help, you know, there, I add this in addition to my detergent perfect stuff so I got four of these things because I have tried them now girl I have got y'all know I got the lip glosses and all that stuff from Milani I love Milani which by the way I'm wearing one of their lipsticks right now I've loved Milani for years whenever they go to the Dollar Tree I always hoard up yes we hoard up and today was no different so I'm putting all my little hoard stuff in one bag. So then I'll show you real, real, real quick. Okay, so we got all that done. I'm going through this as fast as I can because I've got other videos to make for you. I'm trying to catch up, ladies. Okay. You've probably already seen these. I know you have. But they have the Milani. They got the Milani. The Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. And I got two, three of the red okay who knows what the other one is but just know that i got three of these and they're beautiful i'm going to bring one of them out for you in just a moment so yeah two of these very rich colors then i got three of number two let's see number one is called red extreme Number two is called Pink Grape, I guess. I got three of these. Pink Grape. Aren't those beautiful? I'm going to take one out for you so you can see the consistency. And then I got three number threes, and this is called Fiery Coral. All right, that's Fiery Coral. I have not opened those, but I did open up number four, Violet Addict. I got several of Violet Addict. And let me go ahead and show you what Violet Addict looks like, girl. Let me show you, honey. Let me show you. Show you. All right. This is what it looks like out of the package. Yes, yes. I love the gold detailing. I love the color. Don't spill any on your carpet. It smells chemically. A lot of Milani lipsticks smell really, really good. They have like a nice fruity kind of flavor and smell to it. These smell chemically. I don't like the chemically lip glosses, but the texture and the color pigmentation is excellent. Yes. So, Let's go ahead and do a little swatch on a woman of color's hand. Very, you will see that it's still very pigmented, very rich in color. See that? 
wee oui, wee oui, wee oui. there it is smeared onto my hand very lovely you could actually even use this as a little bit of rouge yes i had an aunt that used to do that she would take her lipstick and then and voila oui. all right let's get this off of our hand and let's see what other kind of Milani things that we got. Now I got these Milani Power Lips. I got two of the Cabaret. Cabaret actually matches my nails. So I got two of these. I got two of the Mango Tango. 